Hello there. So you've just built a MAME arcade machine or maybe perhaps assembled in Arcade 1-Up and then later upgraded it with a Raspberry Pi. Or either way, you have an arcade that you've dumped all these ROMs on, but you wish there was a way to autoplay a game for maybe a set amount of time, then another game, and then repeat indefinitely. So this would be in a track mode or an auto demo mode. And it's difficult to set up unless it's already built in, say, to like RetroPie. If you have any arcade that has a list of ROMs and it's simply interfaced by a like, keyboard emulation, you can make your own hardware version of this attract or demo mode. So we're going to do it the DIY way with uh, some simple hardware. If you're not familiar, this is my macro keyboard. I made this in a previous video. You can watch that. And it's just a simple keyboard that executes macros that you can pre-program yourself. Now you can build the same thing with an Arduino Micro. That's the 32U4 chip on it some buttons and a potentiometer. The way this keyboard works is it simply just presses the down arrow to select a game, releases it, presses the A key, which is how I've configured my RetroPie image to select the game. Then it lets it play for 30 seconds to 300 seconds or five minutes. And that's determined by where the potentiometer is set. Then it presses the escape key waits a little bit for it to come back to the emulation station menu and repeats this process all over again. There's a little bit of extra setup that I did just to map the analog values from 30 seconds to 300 seconds, but you can do that however you wish. And that's it. So this is a simple hardware based to make your own track mode. And instead of having one fixed game displaying on your arcade cabinet, it can cycle through every game in that specific list you have. That could be your favorites list, that could be the entire list for a specific emulator, and so on. So this is just an easy way to make a demo mode. This is a piece of hardware, so in order for it to function, you still have to plug it into a USB port on either your Raspberry Pi or whatever interface you're using, like a PC for your MAME arcade. The way this is set up on my macro keyboard is this macro keyboard is essentially has four profiles built into it, and I just added this to the fourth profile. So you have to press the mode button like three times, and then it will enter this essential infinite loop. So if you do like want to play a game or disable this infinite loop of track mode, all you have to do is hit the reset button on the Arduino Micro, which just resets the keyboard and essentially exits out of this loop. There's other ways you could do that. You could just have it check the status of a latching push button, and then if the push button isn't pressed, then exit out of the mode. Just a note, whatever the delay is set to, things aren't going to ex exactly sync up. So I have this B-roll running at like 30 second demo. Um, but it's going to desync after like 35 seconds because you have to allow some extra buffer time for the emulator to exit the game, then reload emulation station, settle in the menu, and then let keyboard inputs take over again. So that total cycle is around 33, 34 seconds, or essentially there's like four seconds of delay time to let the system catch up before it will start registering legitimate key presses again. You know, because we're mimicking a human, so we do have to let that feedback loop agree upon itself. If you'd like to know more about this PCB or more in-depth stuff about macro keyboards or making your own keyboard functions with an Arduino 32U4, definitely check out the video that's going to show up on screen at some point. Because that will explain everything in depth and fill in the blanks as far as how to construct the rest of the code other than the keystroke code that I showed you here. Okay, well, thanks for watching.